Known as New England and Niagara Zone, the 1st Battalion, 25th Marines, is a reserve infantry battalion whose mission is to provide trained combat and combat support personnel in time of war and national emergency. I'm Eric Clemens for Comcast Newsmakers in Comcast's Connecticut studio. Captain William Nado of the 1st Battalion, 25th Marines, joins Newsmakers now. Captain, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Good I appreciate to have it. You here. All right. Uh, why is 125 known now as New England and Niagara Zone? Well, since its inception in 1920, uh, 125 has been composed of Marines and sailors throughout the New England states. With the base realignments, we picked up a company in Buffalo, New York recently, which is when we added the title Niagara to okay. New England and Niagara Zone. All right. What's the mission of the 125 and how do you train for that objective? The actual mission is to locate, close with, and destroy the enemy by fire and maneuver or to repel his assault by close combat. Uh, the way we train for that as a reserve unit is one weekend a month these Marines come in and train with a culminating evolution of two weeks uh, each year. So this last year they went out and trained in the desert warfare training in California, uh, leaving the harsh winter to go to 120 degree days oh, wow. uh, and, and integrate combat there. Uh, being a cold weather battalion, what's that like as opposed to the, you know, 120 degree temperatures in the deserts? Of course, it's actually one of the most challenging parts of being part of 125, I think. Uh, we're uniquely suited here in uh, New England to train in the cold, cold weather. Uh, so these Marines take their gear and equipment out during the winter months and they train so that uh, as America's force and readiness, if the Marine Corps is ever called on, uh, they are ready to fight in any climate and place, especially the cold weather. Tell us a little bit about what a typical deployment is like for the 125. Absolutely. Uh, 125 has done two recent deployments, one in 2011 to Afghanistan and one in 2006 to Iraq. Uh, one of the things that's unique about the reserves is that you often keep some of the Marines that have done both deployments in the, in the battalion. Uh, so we can train with those Marines who have uh, learned those lessons and done both deployments, uh, which is certainly an advantage for the battalion. How often does the training take place? Uh, one weekend a month with a culmination of the year for a two-week training period. Can you tell us a little bit about the challenges? Obviously, it's a very challenging job and the rewards of serving. Absolutely. Uh, I think one of the challenges, like I said, is the cold weather training. Uh, and, you know, we're training in some of the harshest weather that New England has to offer. Uh, the rewards are varied as well. I think one of the greatest things is that you have all of these people who are cops and firefighters. They work for Comcast or Costco. Right. Uh, and they work with the, the New England area, and then they can come in on the weekend so they know exactly who they're training for and fighting for when they deploy. Uh, it's a great advantage to being a part of the reserves because it's New England's own. It's... Uh, members of your community that are working with this battalion all the time. Do you find that in many of the people who come forth and serve, is it difficult to turn off the civilian life and turn on the uh, military life? Uh, is that a challenge? Well, I think one of the things about being a Marine is that uh, we always say once a Marine, always a Marine. Uh, and, I, and I think it can be challenging sometimes. Like I said, going out to California and doing that drastic change from the New England winter to the California desert can be challenging. Uh, but Marines have always been up for the challenge uh, and will always continue to be, especially with the quality of Marines that we have in 125. How can the community ar around uh, Connecticut and New England come together and help support the 125? Well, especially around the holidays. I'm glad you asked because mm -hmm. uh, one of the, the programs that the reserves run is the Toys for Tots program. Um, if the community wants to help, a great way is to donate a new unwrapped toy uh, for boys or girls 0 to 12 to any of the Toys for Tots collection areas uh, or the state police barracks or fire departments. Uh, so it's a great way to bring the community together uh, and bring some Christmas joy to kids around the area. So and, that's and absolutely why. smiles to the faces of the Marines, and too. And smiles to the faces of the Marines as they serious. give those toys out. Captain, thanks so much for being with us on the program. It was a pleasure. You're all welcome. Right, good enough, and thank you for your service as well. You're welcome. Thank you for watching this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. That's all the time we have for now. I'm Eric Clemens, and we'll see you next time.